Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In the first section of this tutorial, we used a mesh to block a texture extraction so that we could get a clean texture. In this section, we're going to show how to set up a little roto mask to do the same thing. So let's go first to the perspective window and we'll drop over into the add cards mode. And again, I'm going to just go and select a bunch of trackers that are on the section of the wall that I want to use. And now I'm going to go and create my card. So it's moving it a little accidentally. What I really want to do is just spin it a little bit. Okay. So let's bring up our texture panel. We've got a texture set up automatically since this file has been saved previously. So we'll run our texture extraction and see what we get for starters. Here's our initial thing. You'll see there's the blurriness of the tree there. So now let's go over to the camera view and the roto panel. And we're ready to start setting up a roto mask to act as a blocker. So I'm going to put the origin of the mask right around here. And now I'm going to go and select a bunch of points here to use as the outline of our tree. And the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to say that I want to use that tracker there as the control point. I'm going to import that trackers path into that control point. And when I do that, now that spline is going to track along with the tracker. Now when the tracker goes off screen, you'll see that the whole thing stops moving because it's no longer getting data about that tracker. So I'm just going to go over a bit more. Just set that up by hand a little so it travels along. See around there it's got a little extra stuff showing, so let's just fix that. So now we've got uh, our mat is set up there. And we can go back and set up this texture now again, recalculate it. I want to just check the box that says that it's blocked by the garbage splines. And now we can just rerun. So here's our initial image. Now you see that we cleaned up part of it, but now we have part of it that never appears behind, you know, without the mask in front of it at all. So in this particular case, you know, we have something that we need to think about what we want to do. We might want to go and do a paint job on some of the uh, version that has the tree blocking it and use some of this. Uh, but I just wanted to show exactly what happens. So this gives you an idea how you can easily set up a little roto mat and what happens when life doesn't necessarily go quite as well as you might like. So that's the tutorial. Thanks.